Hey guys, this is Jesse with JTS Woodworking here. In this video, I just want to kind of give you a rundown of my journey through woodworking. Now, I started woodworking in 2018, uh, right after Thanksgiving. And uh, I remember on Black Friday, I bought my first tools. Uh, I, bought, um, I bought a circular saw and I bought my miter saw because they were great deals. And the reason why I did that was because I wanted to build a dining room table for us. We had just moved into a new house. Our last house didn't even have a dining room. It was so small. So we had no room for a dining room table. Um, and, and the reason why I wanted to build it myself is because I started getting very intrigued by woodworking through watching some YouTube videos, um, moving into the new house, basically, there were certain things I wanted to do and change and I didn't know how to, to do them. And so I looked to YouTube for information and I ran into uh, woodworking videos. And it actually brought back a lot of memories to when I was in high school. We had a production class and we built stools. And I kind of was the manager of that whole deal because I, I took apart a stool and I measured all the measurements and I basically delegated everybody's responsibility in making that stool. So I was on drilling holes for the legs, then somebody else was cutting the legs, somebody else was cutting the tops, and so forth and so on. But I kind of managed that whole thing and I just kind of took on that responsibility and I remember loving that process. So anyways, fast forward to 2018, uh, I made my first uh, table, dining room table, and I remember the satisfaction it brought me. It brought me so much satisfaction, I just started getting hooked right away. And um, so from then on, it was just a snowball effect, right? So we had came into a little bit of money and uh, I spent probably a few grand on tools. I bought my table saw, I bought a small drill press, I bought some drills, a couple drills. And, you know, and, and the more I got into it, you know, more, more stuff I realized I really wanted or needed, I didn't really need them, but I wanted them to make things, you know, run smoother and, and to be able to do more projects. And, and one of them was a, a, a planer and, and then a jointer and a bandsaw and, and all that stuff. So, um, so what's it been, about a year and a half? About a year and a half, and that's, that's really all the time I've really had into woodworking. But I basically do something every single day and maybe for an hour or two at the most and I've been able to accomplish quite a bit. Uh, I remember the first thing I built other than the table, you know, at least a piece of shop furniture was this workbench and uh, without getting too much detail of how I built it, I remember working on the floor and going, man, I wish I had a workbench to build my workbench. Um, so I, I did everything on the floor and then once I had my workbench it was like oh man this is so nice so I ended up building all kinds of different shop furniture a stand for my planner a stand for my oscillating spindle sander um, I made a flip top table for that which I can show you I made a router table and every project you know through every project I learn more and more and I get better and better and better at it but it's just, it's still enjoyable to this day. I still love it. And I'm always looking for more projects to do. And I, I really wanted to share this with people. And so what, what, what a better platform than YouTube to do that. And so my whole purpose for putting this all on YouTube is to share information with you guys and to share cool tips and tricks that I've learned. And, and honestly, just a year and a half, um, I'm, I, I have so much more to learn and but but I realize I've come a long way in a short period of time so I guess I just want to say that if you guys have something you, you might be passionate about or think you might be passionate about chase it because you never know where it will lead you and I'll tell you what right now um, my job right now I, ha I am a forklift mechanic and I've been I've been with a company for over 12 years now and I enjoy it I, um, I like to diagnose problems and, and fix problems I've always been fairly mechanical and but there's just something about it that's just not fulfilling 
But this woodworking thing is much more fulfilling for me. And I'm not sure what it is or why it is that way, but it just is. And so I think it's a, it's a gift. I think it really is a gift when you can find something you're passionate about um, and, and turn it into not just, you know, not just a hobby, but maybe, maybe a job or a career. And that's what I'm hoping to be able to do. I want to sell furniture or projects or whatever it may be. Um, and YouTube is a, a good platform to promote and even make a little side money. Not that I'm in it for just the money. I mean, personally, I would do this without any money. Uh, I would invest money. I have been investing money. I've invested more than I've gotten out of it so far. I've gotten some projects that have sold. I built a table for a couple uh, people that wanted uh, the similar table that I built uh, for our dining room. Um, I've sold a box uh, for holding magic cards. Uh, and I'm, I'm in the process of building another larger table and so, and which is going to be sold. So it's just been, um, it's been, it's just been pretty incredible what has happened in just a short amount of time. A year and a half, you know, it's, it, it is just a year and a half. And, uh, and I, you know, I, I've just got so much going on that I, I just, I don't know. It's, it's something that I created with my own hands and I'm still passionate about it. I'm still as passionate about it, if not more passionate about it now than I was when I started. So it's just been an incredible blessing. I also want to mention too, I, you know, I've built some projects for our church. I built a cabinet for the first time. I, uh, our, our church nursery needed a cabinet and I'd never built one before. Did the research, built it and I was just so happy with it put it up there people were like wow you built that you know it's a good feeling and uh, it's it just it's just amazing and also I'll just say this too real quick that I am a Christian by the way I don't know if that offends anybody but I am a Christian I'm not ashamed of that and um, uh, me and a couple other guys from my church we have started another YouTube channel uh, called Saving Truth and uh, I'll leave it down in the description below but basically, we're trying to start a ministry that um, shows people why the Bible's true, why Jesus is who he says he was. And um, without getting into much more detail, uh, just check it out. We're just starting it. Hopefully, um, people get some good information out of it. But anyways, I guess I'll leave it at that, guys. Uh, I just, I guess I'll just end it by saying, if there's something that you're passionate about, chase it. Because you never know where it will lead you. And I'm looking forward to the next year and a half, the next five years, the next 10 years. And God willing, I live that long and am able to uh, continue to do these things. Uh, I'm really excited to see what comes out of it. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's not the normal thing I do, but I just wanted to share my heart with you guys. I am currently um, building a table, which I will show you the video on that when it's done. And also I got a couple smaller projects that I'm going to be filming. So. I hope you like those. Anyways, guys, I'll see you next time. If you liked the video, please leave it a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.